They had 30% less of all medical problems, including cancer, diabetes, heart disease, 30% less, 20 years follow-up. When I read that, I said, hallelujah, I'm drinking coffee from now on. For next four videos, I would like to share with you how I holistically control my diabetes through my daily rituals. Before we dive deeply into the topic of how I do things, I wanted to talk to you about circadian rhythm. Now, what is the circadian rhythm? Circa means 24 hours. Rhythm, you know the rhythm. So everything in our lives is dependent on 24-hour cycle. It starts from the evening. I know most of us start in the morning, which is fine. But this is the nighttime, and then this is the daytime, and then the nighttime, and it continues. It's kind of a, a waveform that's going on. Now, at nighttime, your goal is to get the deepest sleep at nighttime. And when you get that, you're going to have the most energy in the middle of the day. This is our morning rev up ritual. The first thing that I do in the morning when I wake up, I do, I do these three things along with brushing teeth and cleaning myself up. Obviously, I use um, coconut oil or MCT oil, medium chain triglyceride, it's MCT oil, and a tea tree oil combined, and I goggle my mouth. As you know, it's all dry and it doesn't smell very good because you've been sleeping all night, right? So this is what I do. It's called oil pooling. Uh, this has been used in Ayurvedic medicine, Indian medicine for thousands of years to really clean your mouth. As you know, mouth is the dirtiest part of your whole body. So we want to make sure that we get all of that bad stuff out of there. And tea tree oil, as you know, it kills everything, just about bacteria, virus, it kills everything. So that's what I do first thing in the morning. And then I use a, when I brush my teeth after that, I use the salt, uh, the saline little, uh, uh, little cup, and then I clean my nose and do a nasal flush. That really gets the nose clean. As you know, when we breathe, we get a lot of stuff in there. We want to make sure we kill all of that. As you know, salt kills all of it too. So that's what I do. And then I clean my ears with hydrogen peroxide. I learned this because a lot of people, when they have earache, they get into antibiotics, and which is okay, but they found out that most of the ear infection is not bacteria infection, so it's other stuff, whatever the other things, things may be. So hydrogen peroxide is very effective to clean your ears, to get all the stuff out of there as well. So those, those are the three things that I do when I wake up, as I'm brushing my teeth, I do all of these things together. And also, I do this light ritual. I use this full spectrum light box. I call it the happy light. And I turn that on first thing in the morning. Uh, it's known that when you turn this on and get this full spectrum light into your eyeball, first five minutes when you wake up, then you're going to get the deepest sleep at night that night. So it's very important to have that light treatment first thing in the morning. So that's what I use. As soon as I do that, I go downstairs and I have a little gym where I have all kinds of equipment and I have my mat where I lie down and I start doing my stretching. As you know, I hurt my back in the past, so uh, back stretching is very important for me. So I do this whole routine of stretching and then I do my kicking. Now kicking is very important to get your hip all well strengthened. As you know, a lot of people have a lot of back pain because their uh, hips get really stiffened. All of us are sitting down in one position a lot and that tightens up this area and that makes your, uh, your back really tight as well. So very important to do a lot of kicking exercises. I do front kick, side kick, roundhouse kick. You know, I do you know, all kinds of different kicks to make sure my hip is really limber and well stretched out and strengthened at the same time. Then I use my inversion table and I use half inversion table. It's called DEX2 decompression. That's the name of it. It's not the regular one that you hang from uh, leg all the way down because I've tried that and many different kinds and my, it hurt my ankles too much. So uh, I do a, a half inversion and I hang from the hip down and which is very effective to make sure that my back is all stretched out. As you know, the, the spine has this discs that are squashed as we get older and also being on your feet all day long because it's a, a gelatinous material between the discs so that it gets squashed down, it gets narrowed down. So when, we, when you go upside down, it, that stretches it out and then have the oxygen and, and the water gets in there and actually regenerates the cartilage in the, uh, in the disc on this area. This is known because when the astronauts went onto the moon and out of space, their back pain improved. So they started researching and they found out that that 
no gravity up in the space made that whole thing open up and during that time it regenerated the disk and that's how they uh, got better on their back problem. So that's the uh, technology or that's the, that's the fact that are already known. So inversion table is probably one of the most important things that I recommend everybody to every day. I do it twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening to really make sure that my back's nicely stretched and regenerating all the time. The next one is Roman bench fly. This is a machine where you get on and you, you, you squat like this and then you go up like that. Now when you do that, you're strengthening your back a lot. And this is one of my favorite, not only stretching, but really strengthening exercise for my back. So this is what I do first thing in the morning. It takes literally five, six minutes to really get yourself really ready and stretched out and strengthened and upside down, obviously, to make you feel really good because when you're upside down, I forgot to tell you, that it gets all your circulation down into your head. Your heart has to pump upward to get uh, your circulation to your brain, and that's a lot of work for the heart. So when you go upside down, it's making your, all your uh, blood go down to your uh, brain, so uh, it, it's possibly making you even smarter when you do that as well. We're about halfway through my morning rev up rituals. If you've enjoyed this video so far and learned something new, leave the word morning rituals in the comments below. If you'd like me to elaborate and go deeper into a specific topic, please write, tell me more about blank, such as inversion table, intermittent fasting, and I'll soon make a video on that topic for you. Be sure to also give this video a thumbs up. So now, uh, after I do a little stretching and exercise in the morning, I would go upstairs and go to my refrigerator and take a couple of supplements right away to get my body started, especially my gut. Uh, gut is probably the most important thing that you have to take care of every day. I know you're doing exercising, do all kinds of external things, but if you don't digest food properly, if you cannot assimilate and then distribute throughout the body, uh, body correctly, then you're not gonna have any energy. It doesn't matter what you eat, actually. So it's very important that you get your stomach started. So I use this product called Restore. It's by Dr. Zach Bush, amazing physician. I've uh, watched all of his videos. I read his books and just one of the most amazing physician uh, in, in, this, in this time. And he, he um, has this product called Restore. It actually seals your gut lining. It's a mo one of the most amazing product. I, uh, I do it uh, first thing in the morning and then I also take it in the evening time. Also, I take apple cider vinegar. Uh, it's very bitter and it's terrible tasting, but it does amazing things. I can do a whole video on this topic, but uh, what you have to know is that I, I take a little uh, spoonful of uh, apple cider vinegar and then I mix it with about four ounces of water and I just chug it first thing in the morning. What does it do? It's acidic acid, it's very acidic. When it goes down there, you feel a little burning but it, it kills all the bad stuff because it's acetic acid. And then it li literally repopulate uh, the area with the good probiotics because it's a fermented uh, apple, right? This is fermented apple. So it also has a lot of vitamins, Bs and Cs and all kinds of other minerals in it. So they really get your stomach started for the day. So it's a very important thing that I do first thing in the morning. Also, I also reconnect uh, with my creator and I also pray and I uh, do a quiet time, meaning I read the Bible and listen and try to ap uh, apply the knowledge into my life and I think about it and I meditate about it and I pray about it and, and that takes about 10 minutes or so, but it's probably the most important thing that I do to kind of ground myself for the day. And there are all kinds of things going on. There are a lot of stress going on in my life, but during that time, I really try to center myself to really pray for the best day possible, meaning I take care of all my patients the best way, have my you know, great relationship with my staff as much as I can. So these are the things that I also, not to forget, are my personal, my, my family and everybody else, I pray for the first thing in the morning. Next one is intermittent fasting. Now, this is a very important thing that everybody has to know, and I would like everybody to uh, uh, practice, especially if you're diabetic. Now, why? Because it's called eating window and fasting window. Now, it could be a little bit confusing to think about this, is eating window is the time you eat from the breakfast to the dinner. So let's say if you eat breakfast at eight o'clock and then you eat dinner at six o'clock. That means you have 10 hours of feeding window from eight o'clock to all the way to six o'clock. That's called uh, eating window or feeding window, we call it. Why? Because that's the time that you're eating, you're digesting food. 
And the other uh, uh, 14 hours, your sleeping hours and all the hours after 6 o'clock is called fasting window. Our goal is to get this fasting window as big as we can. In other words, from breakfast to dinner, we want to shorten that down to 6 to 8 hours. So if you have breakfast at 8 o'clock, then you want to be done by 4 o'clock, okay? So you get it narrow and narrow, and a lot of people that I know, they do a 4-hour uh, feeding window down there. They may, you know, skip a breakfast and then and then they do a lunch at noon and then they're they're done with their dinner by four o'clock. And these people, not only you lose all the weight you want, but you're so energetic. Why? Because you give so much time to, we, we call them autophagy or autophage. Auto means self, phage means eating. You're eating yourself. In other words, when you keep eating and feeding yourself all day long or eating late at night, then your body has no time to get rid of all the junk in your body. Because we build a lot of junk within our own cells, right? Because we're doing, you know, our DNA is making, you know, cells and doing a lot of different things. And there's a lot of junk that builds up in the cells. Unless you fast or not eat, this will not get out of your body. And then you keep accumulating. It's like, you know, my trash day for my house is Wednesday. What if I missed a trash day? In fact, that, that happened a couple weeks ago. And the trash started accumulating, right? Because they didn't take the trash out. It was really difficult to keep all the trash in the right place. So you have to get your trash out. The best way to do it is to have more fasting window. Longer fasting window, more time to rest for your body and get rid of all the trash that your body. It's called autophagy. It's the, one of the most important things that you need to be doing to clean your body and improve your energy and make sure sugar more stable throughout the whole day as well. Next one is I take my morning supplement. You see a lot. I, I take three or four packets. It's all pre-made. And then I take all of those vitamins. We already talked about that. Minerals, I talk, we already talked about that as well. I take my probiotics. Astaxanthin, it's, a, it's the strongest antioxidants that are known to mankind. CoQ10 for your energy level and your, for your heart. Quercetin, quercetin is probably one of the most important things that you need to know, especially these days, because quercetin is not only an antioxidant, but it's an ionophore. What that, what that means is it opens the cell wall for the zinc to get in to kill the viruses. Let me repeat that. Quercetin is an ionophore that opens the cell wall to get the zinc to get in there and to kill all the viruses. Why? Because zinc kills all the viruses. That's very important, but cannot get into the cell without something opening the cell wall so that zinc can get in. So quercetin is something that I recommend all of you to take at this time as well. And hair and nail formula is very important. And herbs also. We talked about the herbs, berberine, cinnamon, gymnema, bitter melon. These are very effective to lower your sugar level, make your insulin more sensitive so that they can do more work to carry the sugar into your cells as well. So these are the things that I take um, right before our breakfast, which is the next one. What is my breakfast like? I don't want to have a heavy breakfast because I have to work and move and do things. So I take a protein shake, uh, which is made of a pea protein, uh, and, then, and then I mix it with all these other herbs to make it not only taste better, but it's got a lot of great things that are in there as well. Now, first of all, is I take collagen supplements with the vitamin C. We talked about collagen, which is one of, one of the most important things to seal your gut lining, makes, makes your hair and skin and everything work, uh, uh, look better, but also needs vitamin C to cement it together. Without the vitamin C, Collagen does not work alone, so it's very important to take it together. Maca gives me more energy. It's, it's an herb that does that. Saw palmetto, uh, as I'm getting older, I'm concerned about my prostate health, so saw palmetto is really good for that. Goji, gotu cola, and foti, these are all the antioxidants. They're very good anti-aging, and they, have, they rejuvenate all your cells and everything else, so it's very good. Gotu cola is also very good for varicose veins. I know a lot of ladies and a lot of diabetics have that problem, so gotu cola is really good for that as well. These are the things that I mix it into my protein shake, and I drink first thing in the morning after all the supplements. And then the next one, the final things that I do before I start seeing patients is that I take my coffee and stevia. Now, stevia is a natural sugar. It doesn't raise your blood sugar. It's, a stevia, it's from the stevia leaf. It's very safe. Uh, it's known to really work very well for diabetics. It doesn't taste as good as the real sugar, but it's good enough for me. Now, coffee. I started drinking coffee about five years ago. Before then, I was telling everybody not to drink coffee. It's not good for you. It increases your cortisol level. It's not very good for you overall. Then a study came out 
is a landmark study in Journal of American Medical Association. They followed these 200,000 200, nurses for 20 years. And with, with, with the people who drank coffee versus people, all the nurses who did not drink coffee. After 20 years, this is a huge study, they found out that the nurses who drank coffee three to five cups a day, not only just one to two cups, drinking a lot because they're working at nighttime and all kinds of different shifts, they had 30% less of all medical problems, including cancer, diabetes, heart disease, 30% less. 20 years follow-up. When I read that, I said, hallelujah, I'm drinking coffee from now on because it's going to help me as well because it's a landmark study. So that's why a lot of people say, oh, why are you drinking coffee? You're a health freak and, you, you know, why are you teaching that? Well, there's a benefit because it's natural, right? As long as you're not putting a lot of junk in there. So coffee is very good for you if you use it properly. So I drink coffee in the morning and then I take my chestnut. Now, chestnut has got really good uh, fat that makes, gives you a little bit more energy and it more of a lasting energy than sugar or other things, right? So I take chestnut, then I'm really ready to conquer the world. I rev myself up for my, for during the day to have the most energy. I'm going to be serving my patients. I'm going to be serving my staff and everybody else. So that's my morning routine to really get myself revved up to get ready for the day. If you'd like to receive my daily messages, uh, which is only takes one minute to read, please sign up at 1mwellness.com. Until next time, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.